So what if we could predict the future? Now, I'm not saying I'm going to predict where the stock market is going or what you're going to have for lunch or who you're going to marry, but that would be a nifty trick. <laughs> but if you could do this, you would need to design a system that would identify new knowledge and new breakthroughs in scientific innovation. Let me ask you a question. Do you know people that suffer from a rare form of cancer or maybe a neurological disease like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, or ALS? There are millions of papers stuffed in files at research institutions, and no one person can make sense of all of this information, trying to understand the confluence correlation or the next scientific breakthrough that's coming through. But what I can tell you today is now we are able to not only process the papers a million times faster, but with AI we can understand the context and nuance inside this data, enabling us to identify the breakthroughs for next stage innovation. But how do I know this? Our team built an explainable AI engine that can analyze the language inside the terabytes of data that allowed us to identify insights and generate new knowledge that can transform science faster than ever previously possible. And we can go beyond just simple pattern recognition and correlation. The system we built, we processed decades worth of research to see if the engine could accurately identify findings that we know today to be true. We fed the system entire libraries from collections of publications like Medline, PLOS, and many others to be able to predict technologies which are poised for growth and high impact. The knowledge prediction model we built allowed us to see hidden relationships and forecast future scientific innovations. The system showed us connections across unexpected vectors in a matter of minutes that would have taken the average person years. And our testing validated that the engine correctly identified the trajectory of known scientific breakthroughs, and we've submitted that for publication. For those of you curious about our approach, we took a language-first approach, which involves analyzing the content of research publications using some uniquely modified methods of natural language processing. These modifications gave us very comprehensive and nuanced analysis of the research and showed us how concepts are arranging themselves to create new knowledge. So back to ALS and Alzheimer's. Now, these are diseases driven by proteins behaving badly. And the field that actually studies the protein structure and function is called proteomics. So I'm going to use that as our example. So we used proteomics and turned our engine on it, and we identified very specific, novel, and unique ideas in the space. We analyzed over 25,000 papers over a 20-year period of time across 38 different journals. We found 91 unique individual ideas, and we were able to bin those into eight themes. We identified the difference between settled science, active research, and concepts that were moving upward and downward. We found several areas poised for growth and to be the next key breakthrough in protein-level chemistry, and I'll share two of those with you. One is top-down proteomics, which is where scientists study whole proteins or large portions of them as opposed to breaking them apart in pieces. This will allow us to understand protein structure, function, and modifications at a much more detailed level. Our analysis has shown us that this is going to be the key area that's going to drive new and novel drug targets, thereby developing more precise drugs. One other area is single cell proteomics, where we look at the proteins in individual cells but from healthy individuals thereby giving us a much better map and idea of how these proteins work. This allows us to create more precise drugs and diagnostics that target specific protein molecules. As someone like me who's in venture capital, focused on healthcare and life sciences, I get excited about the opportunity to fund and grow businesses that are likely to have a meaningful impact on the human condition. But what if I could actually see around that corner more clearly? or use a sharper lens to find that next opportunity. This would allow me or you to apply resources more judiciously and target complex medical treatments. So using AI in this way means we can find more treatments that can be developed more quickly, thereby helping more people. By leveraging the power of AI, we have uncovered insights, knowledge that will 
have the potential to revolutionize the way we do drug development, drug discovery, and find new treatments. Thank you. Thank you.